There's a famous 19th century book by Jules Verne called Journey to the Centre of the Earth. In fact, you may have seen some of the various movies that have been inspired by this book. This famous science fiction story starts with a number of explorers entering a volcano in order to journey to the Earth centre. And along the way, the adventurers encounter a number of unexpected surprises before they finally achieve their goal. In a way, that might be a good way of summarising our journey in the book of Revelation so far. Towards the beginning of Revelation, we start to see God's plan for the world by first entering into his heavenly throne room. Then, through the way Revelation is written, we continue our journey to the centre of the book, a centre that's chapters 12, 13 and 14. When we arrive at this central section, we begin to see the key spiritual issues at play in our world. The three angels' messages of chapter 14, especially the first angel's message, is Revelation's central point. These messages are at the very heart of the spiritual issues that Christ wants to communicate to us through the book of Revelation. And just like in the story of a journey to the centre of the earth, the story of Revelation throws up some unexpected surprises that provide a blessing for God's people today. One of those surprises that Revelation gives the reader is that God's Ten Commandments are still relevant for the lives of believers today. Honouring the Bible's Ten Commandments in our spiritual journey with Christ is still as valid today as it was when Revelation was first written. Remember, at the centre of Revelation is Jesus Christ, and at the centre of Jesus Christ is grace. Our response to this grace is personal obedience. Won't you obey his call on your life today?